What's up guys, Atom Bacon here. Welcome back to more Portal. <laughs> I was about to say Need for Speed. <laughs> I was editing episodes of that earlier today. <laughs> In the last episode, we got the other half of the Portal device, allowing us to place both red and blue portals. And in this episode, we have a giant wall that is mostly passable, but we cannot shoot portals past it, so we have to find a creative way to get through the upper half of it. We can't walk, we can't place portals. So what we want to do, once again, place a portal up there, portal here, and you don't make it. <laughs> this one's a little bit trickier, what you want to... Just jump, and then with your timing, you need to place another portal. That'll fling you through. But we aren't quite done yet. This part is actually pretty easy in terms of figuring out what you need to do. However, it does require some really good timing. Like it's, it usually doesn't. It didn't really take me too long to figure out logically what I need to do, but getting the timing right can be tricky. I'll wait for that to disintegrate. If it will. There we go. I'm just gonna pass. Gonna come back. And there you go. This lift so we can keep going forward. Come on, here we go. I'm impatient. <laughs> when, basically, whenever you see one extended, that usually means you have to fling there. <laughs> now, unlike before, this ground is not portable. And if you put this, even if you do reach there, you can't reach there. So, what you have to do is go around to the outside here and use this. That's gonna fling you. And then you need to have good timing slash aiming in order to get the second half of it. Portal fling combos can take some practice to get used to. Case and point. <laughs> um, they can take some practice. Uh, and if your aim is a little bit off, aim or timing, in this case I'd say it's probably my aim. Um, either of those are a bit off, you can have a hard time with it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, I believe what I'm doing is shooting the portal straight at my feet. That's not what you want to do, you want to shoot it a bit ahead of yourself. Like that. Unlike before, this ground is portable. Fling yourself over. It's not too hard to figure out. You do here, you see it bouncing around there. You just have to get the bounce off the other one. Into the receiver. Pretty straightforward. Oh, that was a little bit wonky, but it worked. Now, th the timing on this can be a bit tricky. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to in here and then place another one there. Another one there. And you're going to see that one pass by. That's how you want to get up there. Getting the timing for that right can take a bit of practice. Get in here and you see that the lifts deactivate. You go on them. up here. If you press one of those, that will open that. Then you need to rush over, use the other lift to get up to the other one. And it's it closed. <coughs> Try as you might, you're not going to get the timing. What you need to do is create a portal that you can use to immediately bounce between them. Like so. Press 
one. Press the other. Shoot, shoot. And check. Did you know you can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science of the Steam Fund for Girls? It's true. That was uh, what I thought she was going to say at the end of the other chamber when I went quiet to let you hear something. It's because I thought she that that's what I thought she was going to say. Or, I knew she was going to say that. I thought she was going to say it then. Mandatory scheduled maintenance. The appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The enrichment center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. Nothing weird about that. You can, if you put two portals parallel like this, you can actually actually see your own face, and it's kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Anyway, here we have the introduction of turrets. These are the main enemies in this game. Uh, you see that one over there actually saw me. Um, the red lines are where they can see. If you get their views, I'll scout around a bit, and if they still see you after a while, they'll straighten out. There's a few ways to defeat a turret. I'm gonna start by trying to take this one out. Last. Basically, you need to knock a turret over to the same way. It's pretty simple. You just knock it over, and it'll. Freak out and it'll deactivate. Basically, you want to sneak behind them so you can. You? Ah! Ah! Jeez. Be careful though, because they can still hurt. hurt. Unlike some other hazards, they do not instantly kill you in one shot, but if you stay in their line of fire for too long, will eventually get killed. See, this one sees me. It can shoot me. Oh, now, unfortunately, you can't immediately get close to them. But, what you can do, you can't shoot portals underneath them. So you can't shoot one above them. Cube, drop it on top, knock them out from above. You see this here, it says health. And we find this bizarre little area. Anyone who knows this game, or anyone who's heard the famous line, the cake is a lie, yep. This is where that originated from. Now, you cannot pick these up, but you can move them with portal manipulation. Not that it's really helpful in the long run. Now, one thing you can do is you can actually use a uh, cube as shield to block yourself from the turret. Oh, jeez! Be careful, though. Unfortunately, the glass is bulletproof. Or bulletproof, whatever it is they're shooting at. That one literally backfired.
lady elf for some reason it slipped my mind what that was called oh jeez now that's another way to beat them is to put a portal underneath them and cause them to fall Unfortunately, there was no sprint button in. I just sent that radio flying. Okay, uh, I, mean, I don't need to get in the way there. There we go. Down, down. Oh! You can actually kill them with them. You can hit them with themselves, which is really amusing. Testing apparatus destroyed. One of these cubes to lay that down. And surprise, there's another turret in there. So, over here. Ah! Don't do that. Target, uh oh. Target, uh oh. There we go. Um. Okay, I did have another. Oh no, none of them. Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. Now listen to what these guys sound like when you take them through a portal. Most amusing sound ever. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that sound that's just so incredibly amusing. Ah yes, the companion this cube. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. This chamber is interesting because you're given this companion cube and you have to use this one cube throughout the entire chamber. This level basically stretches the application of how many different uses a storage cube essentially has. First you can use it as a platform, then you have to use it as a shield to deflect the energy balls. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact... So yeah, that's what happens when you die. Uh, you want to be really careful because once these things get ricocheting around, the symptoms most commonly they can be some pretty dangerous. Enrichment Center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as a lie, and hallucination. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the weighted Wait, companion you will never threaten to stab you okay, and, okay. in fact, cannot speak. It's one blue portal there. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. Okay, so I want to wait until it dissipates. And then book it. Get the 
Hell out of dodge. And or say. So, we'll place that there. <laughs> and then, when it spawns one, it's going to ricochet off of that into the receiver. <laughs> and there you go. But this chamber is far from over. Who knows? That raises the first platform. But there are three more platforms we have to raise. So, what you want to do is place one portal on that. Grab your trusty shield. Backtrack a little bit. Um, I believe it's this one that I haven't... Which one did I shoot from already? This one doesn't seem to be shooting, so I guess it was the first one. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, go over here. It's gonna go there. Now, probably just want to wait for that one to cycle off, because this next part is kind of complicated. Oh, dude! I landed on it! Really? <laughs> I landed on it! Okay, well, the first one is still set. So... Oh, jeez. Crud. Um... Get back up there. Okay, so... I'm actually gonna do things in a slightly different order this time. I'm going to... Do this... One first... Way. And then that way we have control over when it spawns. Well, not when it spawns, but we have a little more control over what happens, I think. Actually, where did the. Oh! No, 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 I want to get in here. I'll place that on there. And... This one's gonna come in here. As soon as it's on there, open the door! <laughs> Try not to do that. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, that's saved. That there or moving. So get out of the way. Open the door. Shit. The... Um. Pickle. Come on. Nope. Okay. Just went back. Um. I don't know why I'm having a hard time with this. I usually don't. Okay, I think this is a safe distance. There we go. The that box is the second receiver. You that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the Enrichment Center urges you to disregard its advice. Now this time we actually have to use the ricochet. I'll place yourself here. Use the flat side of the box to ricochet it in. And now all three platforms are raised. I'll get back up there. And then it's just some simple platforming to get to the end. Simple platforming. Um, that I seem to have a really hard time with for some reason. I don't know why, but this section has always given me a hard time with platforming. I mean, I beat it on my second try there, but you should have seen me on my practice run yesterday. 
You did that it. That opens up. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. This part's pretty simple. You simply just press the button and then you have a timer. You want to grab this and dump it in. You euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. So, Congratulations. That's cool. You can actually still kind of see in there. <laughs> Once you do that, this will open. Why they couldn't just have you go through that and have the Emancipation Girl disintegrate the Companion Cube? Well, who knows. Some people like to theorize that those Companion Cubes actually have dead corpses of failed test subjects, and that if you took them through the Emancipation Girl, the cube would disappear, but the dead body wouldn't, and that's why you have the incinerate it first. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The enrichment center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. <laughs> this part gets really complicated. There's another uh, rat man. <laughs> There's another one of these dens here if you want to check it out. I'm not going to bother, but you can if you want to. And so... You have to get up there, and then this part takes some time, and you have to up there and get in. Careful not to fall in there, and you get. Fortunately, this part you can simply just use the floor to your advantage. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, right? You do that. And that opens that up, but again, we can't get over there. So we need a cube. And that cube is there. It's quite a chore to get that cube. Very long, multi step process. First thing you want to do. Get to the side of the room. None of the turrets will see you. Your first job is your, your first step is to eliminate all the turrets. You want to use the scorch marks in tandem with where the red dot sights aim to figure out where to uh, what oh. figure out where to aim the. Jeez, I can't again. Use the scorch marks and the red dot sights to aim at the turrets. What did I do wrong there? Most of my saves have been in between episodes, but oh well. Now, most of the oh, what am I trying to say? Most of the turrets are aiming that way, but a couple of them are aiming a different way. So try not to let that mislead you. I mean by this lead is don't forget about the ones that are pointing in other directions. Basically just everywhere you see a red dot sight, make sure you fire an energy make sure you guide an energy ball that way. Because you wanna take and then one left. Yes, it is. Alright. So 
now that all the turrets are out of the way, we can focus on getting over there. You have to use this lift, but the lift is not activated. You can see that that lift is activated by that receiver, which is hidden behind this door, which is activated by that back. So, you need some really nifty portal timing for this. First thing you need to do is make sure that you can press the button quickly. Like that. Try to get the timing on this. What, it's best to use one of these walls because they have some of the... That. Ah! Oh my god. I did not do that right. <laughs> if you couldn't if you couldn't tell that was incorrect. You want to guide them that way, so and then very quickly Hit the button. I screwed that up. Okay. Just want to have one there. One where it's going to be taken. So is it shoots there? 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 Hit the button. Into the receiver. And that's going to activate this lift. Don't be hasty to get on it, it leaves right away, just wait for it to come back. Once activated once, it will constantly go back and forth for the rest of the cycle. <laughs> or for the rest of the time you're here. So you only have to activate it once, thankfully, and then it's just on. Pop on there. Again, be careful with your momentum, you don't want to fall off. Note that area down there, that's important. Try as you might, you won't be able to reach there, so you want to jump down here. You're going to want to get back over here. That's going to extend that. Shoot one portal here, one portal here. Keep a note of that. Fall down here. And that's going to fling you all the way over here. I just wait for the lift to come back. Again, don't be hasty. Got plenty of time. Um, Alright. If you're bad at platforming, this part can be a bit of a pain. Get the cube safely to this side. Then you have to get yourself back over to that side again in order to open this up again. So, leaving the cube here on this side, you want to once again wait for this to come back. Ride it back over to the side, to the other side. Place a portal over there or something, just in preparation. Put a portal there. Try not to place the portal on the door. In fact, I'm gonna shoot it again just to make sure it's not. Hit that. Come over. Grab the cube. Slip back in here. Place it on there. Bob's your uncle. I swear I did not mean to do that. Well, I mean, okay, I meant to portal fling, but I, I didn't mean to throw myself in the water. <laughs> that is what I meant to do. I kind of forgot they would throw me all the way over there. <laughs> uh, speaking of portal flings, 
If you like portal slings, you're going to love this next section. If you're bad at them, this is going to be living hell for you. Place one portal there. There's another portal here. It's all about timing here. And bada boom. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. Here we are, test chamber 19. Welcome to the final test. When you are done, you will drop the device in the equipment recovery annex. Enrichment center regulations require both hands to be empty before any case. <laughs> and with that, let's see a bit of a hint of what we have to do. But this final test chamber. I'm going to save it for the next episode. I'll see you guys then.